she ice free, free photo. Welcome back to another video from Street Ride. This is your boy Rick, and of course I've got another video for you or we wouldn't be here. Blue and me went ahead and tested the E85 Stage 3 tune with 034. Did a couple quarter mile pulls, actually we did four. I know on the 93 we did five, but this time we only did four, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why we only did four is because I honestly didn't feel like doing the fifth one. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to get this done and to put out for you guys because we still got the E60 to do with full weight. Of course, Blue has all of her weight, so all the seats are in. We're still on all season tires. I'm not gonna be putting any performance tires on this vehicle until my new wheels come in, which have been ordered, but it looks like it's gonna take until December for them to get here. And then at that point, we'll be deciding on what tire we decide we're gonna go with to get blue even faster. Of course, after the E60 run, then we'll be doing some runs with no weight, and then we'll have the tires later on, and we'll do some runs with full weight again with some tires. Plenty of content to come. And of course, as new parts become available for this vehicle, we'll be getting them installed. So we'll talk about the runs. I was super consistent this time on all four runs. I think in order for us to get better time, we're gonna have to get a better wheel on this vehicle, better uh, inlet on it. Uh, I know there's some confusion where I guess people thought I was saying that the inlet was gonna change the game and, and, and just make this car significantly faster. Nope, we just want the turbo to breathe as best as possible so it's being optimized fully. Where we're really gonna get our better times from are gonna be from the tires. I'm still running the Pilot Sport all season four. It just works for me here in Maryland since the winter is coming. I don't feel like paying to change the tires on these wheels. When I get my new wheels, they'll have the tires that I will use for all my track runs and those tires will only go on the vehicle when I'm doing those types of runs. So I hope that clears up some information as to why I keep doing these runs on all seasons. It's just convenient for me here in Maryland. This is my daily driver. These tires, they last a long time. Uh, I think they're warranty up to 50,000 miles. This is not a tire ad. And they get really good traction in the, the dry and wet for normal driving. So it works out very well. And in the snow, they're a beast to me. I know they're not snow tires, but they, they, they get me where I gotta go. And that's what matters to me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to these runs. Um, check them out. All right, all right, here we are again. We'll take this real slow. Here's the build list for those who are trying to mimic the same type of build that I'm doing. Other than that, we'll go ahead and pull up the run. First run, I, th I believe we launch at about uh, 70 to 80% boost. And let's see what happens. Right, so impressive time, I think. Really decent. Can be improved though. Our 60 foot, not where I want it to be at, but I might be limited to these tires. So this second run, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna launch at full boost, which according to the gauge on the car is 100%. And let's see what happens. Wheel spin happens. So we're gonna go ahead and I whip it right back around really quick to do the third run. I wanna do less boost this time. I think I was aiming for about 85 to 90% boost. 30, 60. A one mile. And as you can see, there's still slight wheel spin. On this last run, the fourth run, instead of running right back to the starting line again, I decided to cruise up about three or four miles, kind of bring down some of these temperatures. They were starting to creep up there in the oil temp. And I have this thing about the oil temp. I want it to be, when I do my runs, around 195 to 205 um, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. I go ahead and I'm gonna go for a ride. I drive around for a little bit, whip a U-turn and come right back, get to the line. And this time I launched at about, I wanna say it was about 80 PSI, maybe 85. I don't recall exactly. Let's see what the results is.
All right, there we go. My best time was the last run. So as you can see here, we're gonna compare all of the slips. Pause the video if you have to and do your comparison. Again, I'm gonna leave this up to, to you guys, but I see that my struggle is definitely my all season tires. They are hindering me back. I think this is a fantastic time. There's definitely another 10th to two tenths worth of time to be made up if I can get this 60 foot time lower. Still believe that upgrading the inlet pipe to allow for better airflow can't hurt us at all. It can only help us. I, I do think <laughs> this is pretty good. I, I feel it. I feel that if we can get some good tires on here, um, even if the DA stays where it's at, we can definitely, definitely creep out a, a 10, seven, maybe even a 10, six, nine, a 10, six, eight. I, I really think it comes down to the tires and a better 60 foot. I think that's pretty impressive for E85. I can't wait to see what we can do in E60. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you like what you see here, subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, say hello, and thanks again for watching, greatly appreciate it. Again, I have a Patreon page. If you feel that you wanna go ahead and donate to the cause, that would greatly appreciate it. If not, just subscribe, that's free, and like is free. So as usual, be easy, be safe, and take care. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going.